Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Today we're going to take a look at PDF editing within Linux. Before we jump into that, just wanted to catch up with everyone. As many of you know, it's been many, many months, well, almost nine months, since I really posted any content on the channel, uh, with the exception of one short video recently. And that's quite simply because I started a company about three and a half years ago, and it became all-consuming, that combined with family life. I have been kept, uh, keeping up with the Linux community behind the scenes and, as you know, have been very quiet. And I've missed a bunch of you friends in the community, and you all know who you are. So, uh, not saying that I'll be able to catch up as I, I did early on years ago, but uh, look forward to getting back into things as I can. All right, well, let's jump on over here and take a look at what our options are within Linux, and there are several good options. So, let's dig in. So the first two applications we're going to take a look at are PDF Shuffler and PDF Mod. PDF Shuffler used to be my go-to for rearranging the actual document itself. Both of these applications are used to change the structure of PDFs or to combine multiple PDFs into one. They're not used for editing text or photos within the actual document or signing a PDF, just to change that structure. So let's take a look first here at PDF Shuffler. And it seems like it has lost its capability, uh, or some of its capability, to sort um, the actual pages. So first of all, let's go ahead and import a document so you can see what I'm talking about here. We'll go ahead and maximize this, and we'll zoom in. So here we have four pages in this sample PDF. Uh, there are several things you can do with this toolbar that's pretty basic right here ready to go if we wanted to import an additional PDF and then save it as a combined larger PDF we could do that there uh, save as zoom in zoom out and then we have the ability to rotate one page or multiple pages we'll go ahead and select two left or right or we could choose to delete these pages and that's pretty well it for PDF Shuffler at this point. It used to have the capability to rearrange the pages. And it's either that it's this version or perhaps, I don't know, perhaps it's not being maintained any longer. Nevertheless, I've moved on to PDF Mod, but this is still functional and still has some quick and easy features uh, for combining, rotating, or deleting. So I wanted to make you aware of PDF Shuffler. So next up, we'll move on to PDF Mod. PDF Mod has similar function to PDF Shuffler with some added benefits. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and open up, and I've got recent here. So we've got a multi-page document. Let's just go ahead and zoom that out a little so that we can see the structure a little better for the video. Now there are a couple of other features other than um, deleting or rotating. Here we could take page one of four and slide it over and make that page three of four. So you can rearrange and you can do this with multiple PDFs. So if we were to import an additional PDF for multiple pages here, let's say eight or ten pages, you could rearrange all of those pages easily just by selecting and sliding around. The other feature I really like for PDF mod is the bookmark feature. So if you had, you know, a 30 or 40 page PDF, you could go in and uh, actually bookmark uh, that page so that you could quickly go back and find it later. Now the other thing you could do um, that you cannot do in PDF Shuffler is we could save this as an image to a new folder. So you could highlight here and maybe you could do that here, export two images. And I'm not sure why it's saying two. It may be that I had selected one earlier, but we could go ahead and import, or excuse me, export that page as an image, which is a nice feature to have. So again, for changing the structure, PDF Shuffler and PDF Mod work very well. And I've had to use this numerous times because uh, you may be sending a document where there's one page with content that um, you know doesn't need to go with the rest of the document for example so it works out great we'll go ahead and close without saving all right next up are the editors that we have at our disposal so let's jump in and take a look at one that is not exactly free uh, it does have some limited use for Linux 
and that is Master PDF Editor for Linux. Um, the full version, I think, is 70 bucks, somewhere around in there, $70 US. Uh, they do have a deb file here if you're running uh, Ubuntu. I believe there is also RPM if you're running Fedora or something like that. And I'm sure you could get this within the um, repo of Arch Linux as well. As a matter of fact, I know it's there. All right, so it, this is basically a full-featured editor if you register. If you don't register, what you're going to wind up with, and we'll open it up and take a look at it, is a watermark within your document. But I wanted to show this anyway because there may be times when you want to edit something and you don't mind the faint watermark that's within the document, and we'll take a look at that. Some of the differences, though, the unregistered version, you can create a new PDF document from a scanner or an existing file. You can fill in a form, and sometimes that's really all you want to do with a PDF is easily fill in the form. You can add or edit bookmarks in the PDF file, comment and annotate within the document, and then you can split and merge the document, similar to what you saw with PDF Mod, for example. Then if you were to register and pay for the full commercial version, you can optimize the PDF, uh, edit the document to your heart's content. It's, it's laid out very well. Now you get these features. You can actually do that. So let's just go ahead and launch on in and you'll see. Um, you can go ahead, let's see. Let me go ahead and get something open here. You can go ahead and use this. Use all of its capability. As you can see, you've kind of got a toolbar layout here, a notebook style if you use LibreOffice. But uh, very simply, you can select text, edit that text, for example. See here, watermark, it's letting you know you're going to get a watermark. If we wanted to, I believe, let's see here, let me select this, actually. Here's our text select. So we could move this sentence around. And here, actually, let me zoom out a little. Let me zoom out to actual size. Now, earlier, I selected the image. There we go. So if I wanted to cut that image. So it is truly full featured. And I think I saved one with watermark. But if not, let's just go ahead and save this just in case. So save as, okay, it's telling me it's going to have a watermark, so we'll, we'll change that to WM, and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, if you use this and you like its capability and its full function to create PDFs as well as fully edit PDFs, well, actually, you can see the watermark there now, but we'll go ahead and save that so you can see this faint watermark. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and show this. It may be that this watermark doesn't, you know, it's not going to affect the document that you need to edit and send to someone. Um, you can still get the full featured use, and I think that's a great way. It's a good compromise, if you will. But if you like this, spend the $70 and have a full featured um, PDF creator, editor, uh, so on and so forth. All right, so it uh, works well. It's fast. It's easy to learn and understand, so uh, high praise. Now let's talk about some PDF editors that you can download from within the Software Center or if you're running an Arch-based system within the AUR or the repository for Arch. So let's go into Documents and again we're going to go over to our sample PDF. We're going to right click. We'll go down to Open With and you've got several options here based on what you have installed. So from here, we could go right into Master PDF, for example. But we're going to open up with LibreOffice, and this is version 6.3, Draw. And this does a surprisingly good job at allowing you to edit simple text and things like that within the PDF. Now it's going to load in, and you'll see the pages list listed on the left here, uh, which I like for quick navigation. But we'll go ahead, and as an example, we're going to go right on over to the word bookmark and let's just say we wanted to take out the word. Now you'll notice the B which is in caps is, I'm going to have to select that a little differently. Let me move back over here to that and okay this is going to make a, there we go and I'm going to go ahead and slide over and we'll remove the B. 
So there's a quick example. Well, actually not that quick because I messed up, but you see an example of a way to go in and edit this with without you know spending money on anything. LibreOffice is completely free, although I highly recommend that you donate if you can to LibreOffice. It has um, become my number one used office suite. It's just continue continuing to improve on a on a very good pace. Uh, maybe do another video, an updated video on that soon. Uh, we can also um, edit or select. Let me do that. Let's first here. Uh, let me go in and see if I can select. There we go. So if I wanted to remove this photo, for example, or crop the image, or edit with an external tool. So it can be very powerful, and that's right in with LibreOffice Draw. So. Um, We'll go ahead and actually do that. We'll cut, and now we'll go up, and we can save. But instead of save, you're going to export as a PDF and rename it. And you've got lots of options here. If you wanted to sign with a watermark, you could do that. So very powerful. And as far as what I use it for, which is usually um, altering the text, or filling in a line or something like that with additional text. Now you can also delete that page or I believe rearrange here as well. So probably not as quick to open the document as say PDF mod for rearranging but a lot of the features that you see within PDF Shuffler and PDF mod plus a lot more. So very well done and uh, kudos to LibreOffice Draw for its ability to handle PDFs as well as it does. All right, we have one more to take a look at, uh, maybe two more. Let's see here. So next up, we'll open with, oh, that was it, yep, one more. So another way, just, just so you know, another way to edit or change content within a PDF is GIMP. So we'll launch into GIMP, this is version 2.8 and we'll import that so we'll choose one page and for me this is not the ultimate way to do it let's just go ahead and get rid of this this is not the ultimate way to do it but it does give you some additional capability uh, if you wanted to draw and you can do this within draw but if you wanted to draw you could draw or paint over this or uh, in the case of text let's go ahead and select this and then we'll right click and you've got some options uh, if you wanted to layer that and add a new layer, change the color. Uh, under Edit, you could fill this with the background color, which in this case would be white. And then if you save that, you'll see that that text is gone. It, same thing for an image. So let's go ahead and select this image. We'll right-click, go to Edit. We could cut that image. You could fill that image if you wanted to redact something. Uh, within the document and then save it from there. Again, I would prefer draw over this, LibreOffice draw over this, um, but nevertheless this gives you some capability and again this is totally free. You can download GIMP within your software store or software manager and uh, set it up quite easily. It's very powerful. Uh, GIMP is one of those applications that has just continued to improve and grow with a huge community following. So it may be that in time you'll find even more features uh, within GIMP uh, for PDF. Uh, it's just a matter of time. So that kind of wraps it up. Uh, if you're new to Linux, this is an example of one of the reasons you may want to take a look at Linux as your operating system. As you can see here, we have some very good tools at our disposal. And it's not about the fact that most of them are free. It's about the fact that they work so well. Um, you know, I read an article recently, and, and this is off the subject just a little bit, but I read an article re recently about Linux users being cheapskates. And that's really not the case. We're not all using Linux because everything is free. Um, so I highly encourage you, if you can, and it doesn't have to be a lot of money, but to donate to projects like GIMP and LibreOffice and other um, projects that bring us this great Linux software. But again, if you're a Windows user, you don't have to download and install an expensive paid-for application to do simple edits within a PDF, as you can see here. 
uh, we've got a lot of capability at our disposal. All right, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed doing another one for the channel here, and we'll see how things go as far as getting back into the stride of Linux Quest. Thanks for watching.